Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy <clears throat> here to bring you your August mid-month general readings. Thank you for joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers. And uh, thank you for all your likes, share, subscribes, and for continuing to follow my YouTube channel, those of you who do. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, uh, a big fat thank you to all of my clients out there, regular and new, for uh, always keeping me so occupied with personal one-on-one -on -one readings. Always an honor and a pleasure. I am, well, I wanted to say I'm back in Poland. I'm still in Poland, uh, although I just got back from a, a couple of week tour through Turkey. Beautiful, wonderful place, magnificent people, but oh my God, hot in August. <laughs> so happy to be back here in Poland where I will be probably for another month or so before heading back to California. So thanks for sticking with me. Uh, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, uh, you can get more information and contact details by clicking on the description bar of all the videos I post uh, or going to my YouTube channel's homepage and clicking on the little about button. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Turnaround time is pretty fast. Uh, <clears throat> it can be sometimes as soon as a few days. Uh, but usually within a one or two week period of time, almost always within a couple week period of time, we can uh, set up a reading for you live or recorded. And I do a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. So if you're interested, send me an email. We'll go from there. I can uh, usually get back to you within the first day <coughs> or the first 24 hours of your initial contact. All right, let's move right into this. This reading is for the water sign of Pisces. For the remainder of August 2018, we're looking at the mid-month here. So the last couple of weeks of August. If you know your rising and your moon sign videos, uh, watch those as well. They can provide additional clarification. General readings often resonate a little differently for everybody watching. Okay, Pisces, our lovely mercurial fish. <clears throat> Let us see what the last couple of weeks of August have in store for you. We have the Ace of Wands followed by the King of Wands. We have the Six of Wands followed by the Emperor. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy, focus, and guidance is the Seven of Wands. Well, Pisces, you have a, a tremendous uh, amount, an amount of, of elemental fire energy here. Five cards, four of them are wands, and one is the major iconic card of the Emperor. So in the tarot, <clears throat> wands is fire energy. Uh, this is the energy of creation. It's very passionate, enthusiastic energy, uh, creating, building, changing, action, moving power. Um, it's very fluid, very assertive, and very forward moving and, f and forward acting. Uh, in the tarot, it can, it can often manifest in things that require creative or artistic energy or things that are about building for the future, including creative or artistic endeavors or projects and career, things like that. Uh, and, and also just that lovely emotional building element of fire. Your, your crowning card from the bottom of the deck representing overall energy for the last couple of weeks of August, we have the Seven of Wands. So this is a, uh, a card with a lot of defensive energy. You can see that the man, uh, the man on this card is standing in front of the door to his castle, his home, his keep, or something that he feels um, a real sense of attachment or ownership or proprietorship to uh, because of how much he has invested in it. Uh, he's protecting it, defending it, guarding it because it's being threatened or challenged in some way. So this can <clears throat> sometimes, it's a defensive energy. And this can be in the positive or in the challenging arena. It could represent standing up for yourself or someone else, standing up for something you've put a lot of work into, whether it's something at work, a project, a home family relationship. Um, and it can represent uh, being challenged on something too, or having something that you believe in, like a, a, a set of uh, ideals or a belief system challenged as well, which is nothing to be afraid of because uh, often in, in the way that we look at something, our belief systems or reasons for something being challenged, um, the ability <clears throat> uh, being put in a position to have to defend them can often help clarify them for ourselves. Uh, because sometimes when we take another look at something that we believe in or something that we've been doing or a way of operating, we may find that it not, may not be useful to us or hold true anymore. So sometimes this being challenged can give us the opportunity to go, well, maybe this isn't quite the right way I need to be doing this anymore. You know, and having the uh, insight and courage and humility to, to kind of let go of something. Uh, but it is a rather defensive energy and I'm not actually getting... 
<clears throat> sometimes it can represent being too defensive about something, but I'm not actually getting this here, particularly in looking at the rest of the cards. It looks like there's something that you believe in, um, whether it's, uh, and there's some new beginning energy here. So it's maybe a new beginning that you've been fighting for in some way. And what this is, you know, in a general reading can be tricky because the details and specifics will always vary because there's so many of you watching, but the fundamental energy remains the same. There's a sense for a lot of you over the last couple of weeks of August <clears throat> that you're defending something that you feel very strongly about. You're protecting it. You're guarding it. Looks like it has something to do with a new beginning of some kind. This could be a relationship. I kind of feel like for a lot of you, it's a new beginning. It might be in career. It might be a new project. It might be a new business, a new opportunity of some kind because it's, it has this feeling that you've worked very hard to gather what you need to have this new beginning, regardless of what the specifics are. And you've had perhaps a lot of challenges in gathering together what you need. For instance, for those of you for whom this might be an entrepreneurial uh, project or a new business or uh, a new career move or going back to school, maybe you've worked uh, for a long time to kind of gather the resources together, save the money for it, get the support, get other investors on board for it, or get other people interested enough in it. It feels like it's been quite a challenging path for you to get what you need in order to start something new. Um, and in spite of the fact that some of you may be even still currently now being challenged, um, in having that new beginning, you're still very much invested in it. And challenge could be anywhere from, you know, seeking help and getting turned away, or um, I'm getting f the sense for some of you that you're, you're starting something new, you're wanting to start something new, you're on the verge of starting something new, you've already begun to start something new that you're very excited about, and other people may be giving you some flack about it, negative opinions or criticism. Some of it might be well-meaning from friends and family but it looks like uh, you're sticking with your guns, whatever that, that means. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little hoarse this morning. <coughs> for some of you, I am also getting, and I got this for one of the other signs too, some of you are involved in some kind of legal situation, like a litigation of some kind. Um, some of you may be the ones on the defending yourself side of this coin and some of you may be on the other side uh, but I but there's a victory and triumph after a challenge here so it's going to work out well regardless of what the specifics are okay that's your overall energy and guidance we have this beautiful fiery standing up for what you believe in standing up for what you've invested in standing up really for what you want so we begin around the middle of the month or so with the ace of wands and the king of wands so much fire energy which is it's kind of funny, Pisces, because you are primarily a water sign, lovely mercurial water, which is emotions and feelings and relationships in the tarot. So it looks like, you know, the general energy over the next couple of weeks of August is going to be maybe rather fast paced, fast moving, um, you know, a lot of passion and enthusiastic energy going around. Be careful to cautionary advice. Uh, you know, to kind of be careful about your words and conversations because all this fire energy could lead you to go to extremes and, and any kind of disagreements, conflicts, or arguments. So kind of keep that in mind. So we have the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands around the middle of the month, third week or so. Uh, so Aces always represent the number one. So the start of something new, a new beginning, an opportunity for something new. And this is an exciting one. It is fueled uh, by fire, the Ace of Wands, new beginnings, exciting, enthusiastic new beginnings could again general reading the start of something new for some of you it's going to be perhaps artistic or creative endeavors or projects uh, other projects which I feel for some of you other people are involved in as well could be a new career path and some of you are definitely starting a new you're either starting up a new business or some kind of way of making extra money you're starting something new on your own now the ace of wands is clarified by the king of wands so kings and queens represent individuals who have reached the mastery of their suit meaning that they have grown and matured and evolved beyond that young immature energy of the page pages are wonderful delightful delightful they're the dreamers um, but that's all they're able to do at their age and at their stage they're very youthful 
Uh, and uh, kings and queens have kind of matured beyond that, and they've matured beyond the knight energy too. Knights are able to take the dreams and ideas of the pages and begin to, to put action to them, to flesh them into reality. But knights still tend to be very spontaneous and impulsive and rushing forward and fast moving. So kings and queens have reached the master of their suit. They're, they've, uh, they are, have reached a place where uh, they have control and mastery over the character traits which are inherent to their suit. Wands is fire energy. So the king of wands could represent an actual fire sign individual who will be significant to you in whatever this new beginning is. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising showing up as a king, but could be a female as well. But very assertive energy here. Uh, it could be somebody who you're partnering with in this new beginning. Uh, and whether they are a fire sign or not, in this situation, they are manifesting like a fire sign. So the King of Wands, some of you, it might be you manifesting this energy uh, with this new beginning or in order to have this new beginning, or you're being very, you know, you're manifesting a lot of fire energy because this is, feels like a very exciting, fast moving new venture. I'm almost tripping over my own tongue with the energy of it. The King of Wands, uh, as a different, as a separate individual from yourself, this would be somebody who's very energetic, very dynamic, very much a go-getter, probably easy on the eyes as well, uh, very good leader. Uh, he's a good problem solver, does not tend to rest on his laurels for very long. He's, uh, you, he's sitting quite restlessly in his throne. If there's something to be done, he figures out what needs to be done and he makes it happen and delegates where he needs to. Uh, he's good at problem solving. If some one thing doesn't work, he finds another way and immediately gets on it too. Very charismatic, energetic, passionate, creative, artistic, uh, really very, very much fired up energy. Again, for some of you, this might be your energy manifesting in this new beginning. It might be someone, a fire sign or someone who's manifesting as a fire sign in partnering or helping somehow in you getting this new beginning very um, almost aggressive energy and very fast moving. So whatever this new beginning is, whatever's happening, Pisces, it looks like, you know, second, third week or so, the energy is very fast moving and very intense. Now at or towards the end of August 2018, we have the Six of Wands and the Emperor. It's beautiful energy. Uh, the Six of Wands is victory and triumph after a struggle, which is great because, you know, we already have this overall energy of, you know, standing up for what you believe in, fighting for what you believe in. It, it feels like this has been not something which has started really quickly and very recently. It feels like for a lot of you, this is an ongoing situation and now you're finally, you're finally ready or getting started or have just started uh, on this, uh, uh, this beautiful, exciting, fast moving new path. The Six of Wands, victory and triumph after a struggle can also represent uh, public recognition as well. And it's significant triumph. It's This is not like a small goal being reached. This is major triumph. This man went off to, <clears throat> you know, do something significant. Uh, you know, rescue a princess, slay a dragon, start his own business, uh, uh, fix something that was broken. You know, I mean broken in, in more of an emotional or spiritual sense. Oh, because it's victory and triumph after significant challenge. And it's major victory. He's riding back into town. <clears throat> Uh, he's dressed in his finest, his horse is prancing, the banners are flying, the, the crowds are giving him cheer and praise and accolades, and it also can be public recognition as well. And it's right next to this new beginning. I mean, for some of you, it might be you're getting, you might be receiving an award, uh, you might be starting a new job, a new business, it might be the opening of something. Uh, it could be that you've received a promotion, a raise at work, and you're being acknowledged for that. You could be being awarded for that in some way, recognized that way. You could be making some public appearances, again, or, or winning something, or being recognized for something as well. Definitely victory and triumph after a challenge. And even for those of you for whom maybe it's not so much public and a bit more personal, meaning you're not seeing yourself splattered over the six o'clock news or anything like that. Um, it's still, whatever this new beginning is, you are so pumped and excited about it. I don't feel like you're the only one either. Um, it's something you've worked really hard for um, and worked really hard. I'm just getting rebuilding too. Maybe some of you have had some difficulty with a situation that you thought you were going to have to let go of or leave behind, or it could have been something that you started and failed at or something happened to it, but you fought really hard and you're, you're back on board again. It could be maybe a, a new business which went through some struggles. You thought you were going to have to give it up or something of that sort. 
but you're not. A lot of different uh, different kind of stories kind of running through the back of my head here. Uh, but general energy is the same, victory and triumph after struggle. Now it's clarified by the emperor. The emperor is a card about, on an energetic level, it represents structure, discipline, uh, the rules, uh, accountability, um, because that's what the emperor manifests. He is the kind of the patriarch of the tarot, and he can sometimes represent um, fathers or father figures because he has uh, a lot of paternal energy around him. Uh, it could be something around, you know, your father as well. Uh, but he's, and in business, in legal situations, this would represent uh, like the judge, someone who has the final decision or the ability to make the final decision in business, corporations, that sort of thing. This would be somebody of some position and uh, a position of some status and authority and seniority, like the president, a VIP, a very senior, somebody with a very senior position. Uh, this is somebody who has a lot of discipline. Uh, he sometimes in terms of faults, the emperor sometimes can be a little too domineering, controlling, rigid. He has a pretty big job, the emperor. He has an entire empire to run. Uh, the kings and queens have a kingdom to run, but the empire has a collection of kingdoms, a whole empire. And that everything rests on a million little tiny details, uh, any of which if they start to fall apart, the whole society falls apart. So he's all about, you know, making sure that everybody lives in a place where the buses and planes and trains run on time and on schedule and everything goes according to book to the book and you know he's not a frivolous individual every decision he makes he understands affects a wide variety of people so it's attention to detail structure self-discipline sometimes self-sacrifice for the greater good because he understands that's how things need to be ruled which is understandable why he has this paternal you know sort of father-like judge uh you know president sort of um energy because that are that are these are the character tra traits that that these people, uh, you know, judges and, and attorneys and presidents and VIPs, even president of the country, need to, um, well, I'm not going to go there, <laughs> need to exhibit in order to make sure that things run the way that they're supposed to run. So this is clarifying the six of wands. So this is going to run a couple of different ways. For some of you... <laughs> I mean, definitely you have this new beginning and it represents victory and triumph after a struggle. And usually new beginnings are what precedes, um, or I mean, uh, uh, comes after ending. So something has to come to an end or come to a culmination or achievement point so you can have this new beginning. And it feels like it was a long, hard road for a lot of you. And there's victory and triumph. This whole new beginning, this fresh start that you're having represents vict all the victory over all of the challenges it took to get you from where you started to where you are now. Uh, for those of you who do not have this other person that's manifesting as a fire sign and that this is your energy and the emperor as well, the way that you've gotten to where you're at and to achieve this victory and success is one, to manifest the energy of both the King of Wands and the Emperor. This is about being assertive, aggressive, even uh, not allowing yourself to kind of uh, uh, procrastinate on anything. But at the same time, it's paired and balanced with the Emperor, who's all about paying attention to details, structure, making sure you don't cut corners. Uh, take shortcuts to things. This is how you're achieving vic this victory and triumph in this new beginning for this new beginning. I, I'll be interested to see what the feedback is on this because I have about 10 or 11 different situations and stories kind of shooting back and forth uh, through my head that it is for a variety of different people. I'm getting a, a, a stronger sense. Um, I mean, for some of you, this could be relationship issues as well, but I'm honestly not getting that much in terms of love and romance relationships. Although <clears throat> it feels like this is definitely not a we atmosphere, that there's more than just you involved in this in this as well. And I also feel too, especially with this victory and triumph card, the six of wands, such a, such a significant victory for you. I feel like for a lot of you, um, towards the end of the month, at the end of the month, maybe the beginning of September, there's actually going to be some celebrations and some celebratory energy uh, with other people, friends and family, or people that you've been partnering with or has given you support and encouragement through this, even though there's been people who have kind of spoken out against whatever it is that you've been doing, trying to do, trying to build up towards as well. And I feel like things are going to work out for you actually better than you even anticipate they will. 
I almost said in an ex unexpected way. Let me look at what the next card would be. Ah, Four of Wands. Well, that's how the energy flows. The Unexpected Blessing Happy Surprise card. This would have been uh, because you only get five cards for the mid-month reading versus the nine you get for the entire month at the beginning of the month. This would have been the very next card. The Celebratory card, which actually can speak to, uh, about celebratory events, formal events or casual events also helps remind us of the simple joy and gratitude of being around uh, people, especially friends and family, that really get us, that we can celebrate with, that we have this connection with. So I feel like a lot of you are celebrating. It's with friends and family or people that, and, and especially people who know what you've been involved in, whatever this, this challenging road has been. So there's celebration. But the Four of Wands is also the Happy Surprise Unexpected Blessing card. And it's not a card of an indeterminate future either. Typically when the Four of Wands shows up, it represents that this unexpected blessing or happy surprise is coming perhaps in a, at an event or a party of some kind. It's, you know it's coming, but it's still going to be unexpected, and it's coming within like a couple of weeks, a handful of weeks. It's a short period of time. Uh, it is such a lovely, bright reading. It's almost difficult to read because the energy feels so fast and so aggressive and assertive because there's so much fire energy, Pisces. Uh, what are you going to do, you water, lovely water sign amidst all this fire? Uh, keep your balance. Keep your balance. Remember to be assertive and fluid, which you already are, but also remember the energy of this emperor as well. He has gotten to where he is and is successful at maintaining where he is because of how he does things. So keep that in mind as well. It looks like a wonderful, exciting couple of weeks for you, Pisces. So that pretty much sums up your August 2018 mid-month general readings. Thank you for uh, watching it. I hope that it has been validating for some of you because I feel like that's what it is for most of you. This is an ongoing thing. You're like, yep, that's what it is. I just needed to hear that, which is what a lot of readings are like. They're validating um, what we already, some of what we already are knowing and feeling inside. Again, if any of you are interested in a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading, uh, you can get more information and my contact details by going to my YouTube channel's homepage and clicking on the little about button or clicking on the description bar of all the videos I post. Please feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you and set up a personal reading live or record it as quickly as we can. I do love and romance, uh, reconciliation, compatibility, career work and finance, investment readings. Uh, I also do messages uh, from passed on loved ones and uh, six and 12 month overviews to see what's coming in your life over the next six and 12 months, as well as gift readings for friends and family. So uh, shoot me an email if you're interested. I will see you all again. Oh, you can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy for uh, fast answers to those really quick, easy questions. And that link is also provided. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the September 2018 general readings. And until then, as always, Pisces, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.